This video demonstrates an arthroscopic biceps tenodesis technique using a double loop and tack suture anchor. The major advantage of this technique is that it maintains the biceps in its native position and thus its length tension relationship. We have no disclosures. The following case example is that of a left shoulder in lateral decubitus position. The arm is held in 45 degrees of abduction using longitudinal traction. Intraarticular and subacromial viewing is done from the posterior portal, while instrumentation is performed through the anterior and anterolateral portals. After diagnostic arthroscopy, the biceps tendon is marked on both sides through the rotator interval using two number zero purling sutures inserted through an 18 gauge spinal needle retrieved from the anterior portal. The arthroscope is moved into the subacromial space where the biceps tendon and bicepital groove are localized by palpation and the proline sutures. The biceps tendon is unroofed and the transverse humeral ligament is released. The biceps tendon is elevated with a grasper and a 1.3 millimeter suture tape is looped around the biceps tendon using an anti-grade suture passer and then cinched. The suture is retrieved through the anterior portal and used to elevate the biceps tendon. In a similar fashion, a second suture tape is looped around the biceps tendon using an anti-grade suture passer and cinched. Note that spacing between the sutures can still be adjusted for the next step. Next, a tack stitch is placed through the biceps tendon distal to the loop using an integrated suture passer to complete the loop and tack construct. Returning to the first suture, a tack stitch is placed in similar fashion. Notice that the tack sutures are placed as central in the biceps tendon as possible to prevent pullout. The double loop and tack construct is complete. The sutures are then affixed between each other in the proximal bicipital groove using a 4.75 knotless bile composite anchor. The bone is punched and tapped as needed for hard bone. The anchor is inserted with the sutures held under gentle tension. The suture tails are then cut. The arm is rotated to demonstrate stable in situ fixation of the biceps tendon. Finally, the glenohumeral joint is revisited and the biceps tendon is tenotomized at its origin at the superior labrum. The residual stump is debrided. This concludes the procedure.